This is. Do you know what this is? What? Uh, no. What? What is this? What up, Jenny? Uh, she just came and poked me with something in my cheek. <laughs> All right, this is the final <laughs> set. This is the final set of round three. Is what this is. Sweet. Ah, uh, okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> We've got mods back, we've got the Schmegma Ma Oh, we had mod back, mods back last game, I'm oh. stupid. Oh, I haven't seen them. We um, have the Granina, comma, Schmegma Man. <laughs> and the good old Cross 107 Puff. Nice, yeah, I know, fuck all about both of these characters. Basically, I basically Mega Man wants to catch you in one of his, like, kooky projectiles and then hit you with a fast aerial. And uh, Jigglypuff just wants to net, well, forward air you and then yeah. eventually rest you. Jigglypuff generally wants to carry off stage. Cross doesn't yeah. tend to go for rest as much. Okay. I mean, that's the <laughs> iconic thing I know Jigglypuff for. Now, Jerry does usually play Richter, but Richter Puff can be really rough for Richter because Richter is really gimpable, and uh, Puff's best way to kill is gimping. Speaking of kills, that's a net. Not like that, but yeah, just. So many jumps to so, be able to abuse him off stage. You'd expect from the seating that the set would be a wash, but just the matchup is maybe so bad it's for just him. a waz. Well, <laughs> they're playing Mega Man to avoid having to play Richter Deal with the bad matchup into Puff, yeah. yeah. But so far, Christos with a pretty big lead. Yeah, almost a whole stock on him. And Jerry does like to go for those down air spikes. Ooh, that's an up smash. Yep. That'll take it. Yep. Mega Man also has a really fast up smash out of shield. Really active. Really strong. Actually, it's not that strong, but it's really active. And Puff is light enough that it, like, kind of fixes the inherent strength issue of that move. Yeah. And Mega Man has really fast aerials. Yeah, so what is it? It's all like the swipe kind of moves, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Up air? Up air. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Mega Man up wins. air carries up, and Puff is so light that it may be able to just kill her really early. Up smash? Not yeah. quite, but. Mora's making this back, showing why they are indeed one of JML's coveted top 15 seeds. <laughs> Oh, back throw just gonna Actually, I it. think Remora is exactly seed 15 <laughs> this season. Ah, what was that? I don't even know. <laughs> the, all the moves look maybe the same. A I, think maybe, I was thinking maybe a forward air. Yeah. But Alright, pretty even. Remora made this back. That back air is actually so fast. <laughs> yeah. And it's also really strong, so is that a, it has a good chance of catching cross out. Jeez, this is a very, very aerial-based matchup. They yeah, are because constantly up there. Puff's entire game plan is to stay in the air. That's a back throw. Ooh, close. Not quite gonna take it. Good job being... Ooh! Oh. I'm back at Smash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was... See this game, just... Dash back, yeah. forward smash, yep. Well, when I found out it was going to be this matchup, I realized that forward smash is going to be really strong. Because what? it's a projectile forward smash. Not only is it a projectile forward smash, and Puff can't really do anything against it, but also Christos's main option off of ledge tends to be jump and, like, fair. Okay. And that'll like, catch that, I'm assuming, like, very fall easily. Off, or... Jump up fair, or jump up nair and, like, start chaining. Yeah. And that forward smash just completely takes away that opportunity. So he has to be much more careful on ledge. And I think it also catches ledge hang. Yeah, so ultimately a very good option, fair. <laughs> yep. We've got Battlefield. Interesting choice. Because Puff doesn't really combo off platforms. Does... Uh, hey, Puff, I think Puff can. I'm pretty sure the Puff in Smash is confirmed to be female. Okay. I wasn't certain with that. <laughs> The Pikachu, I think, is male because you can tell from the tail. What was what was the little like? Oh, that's is a that Pikachu dodge. 
Oh. Uh, no, that was a taunt. I think that was down taunt. Ah. So, neat little bit of tech that Jerry learned is that they can use Leaf Shield and then down B, and then when they come back from the down B, it releases the Leaf Shield. Ah. Wait, that was such a cl- Oh! Oh! That Puff can just jump No, back. that was yep. close. Christos was almost dead there. Mm. Not gonna get an edge guard. Ah, Good so. ledge patience. So it'd have to be like a fully charged or like mostly charged. Yeah, it grows in to size, actually, right? To actually yeah. hit ledge. Yeah. Like it's basically a charge shot, but it's an F smash for some reason. Ooh, not getting the right direction on that. I'm not sure if that conversion is actually true. The back air up tilt. But Mega Man has a sure you can for some reason. That'll <laughs> catch. See so what I mean? Like that's so powerful. Yeah. Because Puff wants to approach you horizontally like that. And she wants yeah, to float over. Yeah, just like a short hop just to get there, kind of. The key thing there is, she wants to be floating over to you rather than just yeah. running. Because it's faster. And that means she can't shield. Yeah, and she just eats the forward smash. Yeah, fair. Yep. So definitely a good choice of like secondary use here from Remora. Really working out for them so far. That said, very close. I do think that that forward smash will be the deciding factor. Yeah, just can cover too much. Yeah, plus I bet Christos wasn't expecting to die to that one so early. Because like, it looks so small. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> oh, that's a spike! Oh... Should be fine, yeah. That's insane. Really good knowledge of puff recovery there by Cross. Yeah. Not dying, even when he's put in a precarious situation like that. Just the forward air... Oh, nice. That's a back air. Yeah, that was Puff's a back, back air, air is ridiculously strong. Yeah. Oh does my god. Forward air oh my god, one of those next one of those kills. What were you yeah, gonna say? That. Does the forward air help him recover? Because I've noticed him doing that like as he's jumping. I don't know if that was a forward air, I think it was a side oh, beat. That one. That's Whatever side that beat, that's pound. Sorry, side beat. Um It does, because you can actually angle Yep, Ooh, good back air. Back air take. So what you can do is you can angle side beat up or down, which I only learnt like an hour ago. Ah. And if you do that, then you actually get like horizontal, like vertical distance. Okay. So it's just that tiny bit more. Yeah, and he's doing that up. for that little bit of extra distance between jumps so he can make it with the air dodge. Yeah. And then puff air dodge plus magnet hands does like the work for the rest of the way if you have enough jumps. Oh, puff. Also, puff side B has a lot of like range. It also does a lot of shield pressure, doesn't it? Exactly, like, it does a massive amount of shield damage. Yeah. Ooh, barely not getting that edge guard there. Cross really needed that to sort of take back this game. Oh, he's going Really nice low. going. Okay. Going around the sort of area where Mega Man would be edge guarding was really smart yeah. there. Back there. We'll see if it. Ah, ooh, good. drop down. No! Oh, it covers roll. <laughs> covers roll as well. <laughs> maybe he's got to go like under the stage, maybe? Uh, like, I mean, then he can just. Under the stage. <laughs> he can just turn around and he won't have See, jumps. Yeah, under the yeah. stage, it, he. Like, Christos wouldn't have been able to get around to the opposite side of the stage faster than Remora would have been able to get back an edge yeah. guard, right? Or yeah, let's drop again. Fair. I think the best play there would have been to. Because Rumora held it and reacted, best play would have just been to jump up and go over it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Like, the general follow-up to that would have been, like, a raw bear, because it's so fast uh, yeah. it covers, like, a pretty big distance and would have killed Jigglypuff there. Yeah. But, it's like, it's a tense situation, you have to make yeah, a second gotta... call. And, like, someone's waving an F-Smash at you from a distance <laughs> yeah. where you can't punish them for it, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's that's very true. <laughs> well, that forwarder uh, doing work at the moment. Off to a fairly good start on the no Mega damage Man on what they wanted to seal it out right there. The neutral B. Oh, shield break. Shield break. Okay, let's see how he can. That's a rest, but he's too late to get the punish. Maybe like a down air rest. Oh my god, that almost killed. Cross did get some like a lot of like passive damage off of that 
off that rest though. Yeah. Really good shield break. Remora was just sitting in shield and they just they just you know shield punished break. it oh my after God. their side V. <laughs> How did that not kill? Must have been Tower Spot. Yeah. Because that after was really strong. Maybe. Oh, See? Cross jumps up, F smash. Yeah. <laughs> totally safe. Like, I know enough about both these players to know that that exact scenario would have happened. <laughs> yeah. Is the leaf a shield and a projectile? Like, does it... Uh, it doesn't actually Ooh. block any attacks. It's... It it's called kind of leaf shield, plank. but... Yeah. Oh, very uh, good. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty much. Like, what leaf shield generally will do is clank with attacks and sort of just put someone into hit stun to let Mega Man convert off of it. Okay. It's like... Remora is really good at using like Mega Man's various tools, like Metal Blade is the thing he's carrying that looks like a gear. Yeah. He's Oh! It's gonna be fairly vulnerable here. Makes it back yeah. to ledge. Fair. Jerry really wanted that spike, but unfortunately no dice. Gonna have their up smash interrupted that time. And Cross is just all over the place! Jeez! Gets back safe. Dude, that was such a stage. good like advantage sequence. But yeah, br brings it back to pretty much even. Yeah. So. Do recall that there is a lack of kill power on Puff's side. Yeah. That is. Yeah, that's that's how you play around it as Puff. Yeah. Just Basically. jump over it, wait for it to be released. It's more or less your only option, other than hoping that like Ramor mistimes it. So Puff's main source of kills will come from stuff like rests, carrying Mega Man off stage. Oh my god! Wait, that was so clean! That was very nice, yeah. Unlucky from Jerry miss spacing, getting hit by their own crash bomber, and then just getting nerd. S smash, we'll catch and even it back, back up. Yeah. This is perhaps this could be Cross's last stock of the set. Yeah, let's he see really if he can he, he really wants to take this stock here. Wants to prove he can fight with the best of them. So far, though... Ooh, getting some damage. Not nah, good. It was a good play to back off. Good yep. shield on the forward smash. Ooh, that shield is looking weak. Yeah. Should have enough time to recover it. Yeah. Yeah, it's also really active, so it's kind of hard to play around pound. Yeah. Puff is in a very dangerous percent range. And the back air will back be air taking will take it, it on the nice percent <laughs> for <laughs> Remora. That's going to be a 3 0, but by no means a clean one. Yeah, very promising from. Considering Cross the there. seed difference, really yeah. well played by Cross, and obviously very well played by Remora, just doing yeah. exactly what they needed to do to win just, the set. Yeah. Being very consistent. Good stuff.